hell? Okay, uh, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Oh my god, we're walked Dude, right into Mr. a Bonnie Weston, mission. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to Was he just getting dragged down the street? Jesus. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out <laughs> looking, but so far they found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for him. Come on. Bonnie's father is missing. Let's go, lefty. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, there's a I've guy. I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> it's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Go. It's a bad Your idea dad is a huge right now. burly well, dude. I think he's fine. fine Miss yeah. He's built like an oak. You're probably right. Holy but I can't shit. help worrying. He's That's what all I was saying. Shocked. Don't you like have any oak. brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He Jesus. left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. Who's that over there? Where? Yeah. Quick if you can! I don't see anything. How the hell did you see anything? Daddy! Oh what happened? God. Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. And you head back to the ranch right now and fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Please stay close. Watch out. Come on. Whoa. Were those the, what could is this the same people that... Men? And their horses were dead, too. That we just we saw? we back there as soon as we can. Come on, let's hurry. Who could have done something like that? Your pa seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Open your goddamn eyes! Three? <laughs> Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself! I don't think that's a good idea! And you're no better! How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting! You never met the men I killed! I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize- The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic! The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal, there's nothing more depressing than a... Oh my god! The barn's on fire! He's Come got on, some yeah. good eyesight, holy shit. Was that supposed to cut her off in the middle of that sentence? Because that was... That was kind of perfect timing. There ain't enough of us! Whoa! Somebody get their horses out! The doors are blocked! We need to find another way alone. in! This ain't working! Try and get in through the loft, Mr. Marston. Climb up the windmill! Oh, jeez. Help me, will you? No! Bro. It's getting worse! Come on. Come on. Nice and easy now. There we go. Gotta get to the horse! Oh wow! There was none of this in Red Dead 2. It's like Assassin's Creed Put right there. This is set up for yeah, sure. Yeah. Now let's save the horses. <laughs> oh 
what a whim. I've been in there and she can't even go in there. Slap him on the ass. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes Is he you hurt or something? a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. So is the fire just out now? What's going on here? John's acting weird. Wasn't he? He was kind of acting weird right there. Hello. Like he was hurt or he was sad. One of the two. Um... All right. Shippers. Okay. So let's try. Oh, got a Marshall Johnson now. Um, let's go to Irish since we haven't met him yet. Do you think we could do? All, all these missions in one video. I was thinking to do the Bonnie one, the Irish one, the Seth one, and the Wes Dickens one. But now we have a Marshall Johnson. So maybe we'll leave that one and try to do the other three. We'll see. We'll see how long this takes. Oh, God. This one? <laughs> well, he didn't get far. He decided to give the wagon back, miss. <laughs> there you are. My pleasure. Ooh, Twenty bucks. Thank you, ma'am. Got a question mark over here. Whoa there. We're gonna jump off the cliff? I know who you are, Martin. Whoa. Hello, John. John Marston. Do I know you? I hope so. I seem to know you. I'm pretty good at remembering faces. Are you? Do you remember Hattie McCourt's face? Who? She was a girl Dutch Vanderlyn shot in the head on that raid on the ferry a few years back. Same one you got shot on. Pretty girl. Until what? her eye was hanging out by a thread of tendon, and her brain was plastered over a wall. Not really. Oh, 
Oh. Why would you remember me, friend? You've forgotten far more important people than me. What's oh your game, my friend? God! I don't have a game, John. Listen, sometimes I just wish I'd known more about life. Wish I'd had better guidance. A friend of mine is drunk as a skunk in the saloon on Thieves' Landing. I think he's going to be unfaithful to his dear wife. Why don't you head over there and see if you can advise him how best to proceed? What do you think I am? I know what you are, John. Just if you've got the time, friend. Okay. Wow. Now, you'll see me again. Don't worry about that. So. So the um. The fairy job. We don't see the fairy job. In Red Dead Redemption 2, the fairy job happens right before we start playing. But they keep. Uh, they kept saying that it went south and Dutch shot a woman in a bad way. And I think that woman is this guy's wife. Wow. Don't tell me you've gone soft in your old age. I kind of stopped listening to what he was saying after that because I was so uh, mind blown. He said we have to help his friend not cheat on his wife or something like that? Um. Come on. Wow. I don't know if I'm gonna be trying to get over there super fast because that doesn't seem um, super urgent, but if we're ever by Thieves Landing. Oh god, another stranger. For everybody, uh, Thieves Landing, we can do that. What a reference. Howdy, partner. Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No. Can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but... We lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old Coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. You want me to tell Proper him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> Come on. Again, doesn't seem very urgent, but if we're around, we'll uh, we'll do it. We continue.
Bitch! You were gonna kill me. You take all the money, it's yours. Please don't kill me. Okay, fine. I won't kill you. <laughs> you guys need to find a better hiding spot if you're gonna do that. A little sloppy on the dead eye there, but still worked. All right, Irish, the drunk, you know, the alcoholic, uh, arms dealer is what they said. All right, Irish, this was one of my favorite characters in this game as well. Yes, boy, you, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving me cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. Yeah. What's up, boys? <gasps> Fuck off, boy. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Look here. This paddy bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. Well, I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my boyo. nerves. Boyo? Yeah. This ain't nothing to do with you. That's it. No more <laughs> oh. The French never want to fight in their bloody life. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. <laughs> Boyo. Alrighty, my guardian angel. This John way. seems to be uh, better at Come on, then. speaking this point, in this, this game. Point. His vocabulary is better. And his... Seems smarter. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all <laughs> met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thick as thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. What are you doing back there? Up to it, fella! Trying to keep up, Jesus You don't seem Christ. too upset about your friends getting killed. Life's too short for regrets. And I'd outgrown them fools. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella. I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. This guy... Come on! Doesn't use roads. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that shack. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Sure, Irish. He can get away with it because he's, uh, he's funny. Get 
Guns are blazing. <laughs> that was bright. Holy shit. Oh my god, why is that so bright? There we go. You're mine now, you dumb ah! <laughs> You dump it. It's not here. That lion sack is shit. Oh, he tricked us. Forget wow. Me, Irish, you son of a bitch. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good one, Irish. We will meet again, though. Should we just go to Irish again? Where is he? He's way down here now. Uh, Should we say screw? Screw the other missions, go do Irish again? Yeah, we can't let him get away with that. We gotta, gotta go after him. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Irish, you slippery bastard, we're coming for you. Hey, Bob, I need help. Whoa there. Hey, get back. You gonna jump me? God. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god, she hucked me. Manhandled. A woman of the night. Let's go. <laughs> all right, Irish. Been riding all night. Get arrested? Wasn't this the last guy we got out of here arrested? Oh, no, he's right there. He was behind. Get away from me! Right here! Oh. Yes, Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston! Uh, I, I found you one. Uh. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there. And who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> You don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <clears throat> it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as could be. <laughs> It makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh, Not gonna pull a fast one on, on us on, again, Dad. are you? Find your precious gun. Gun. <laughs> oh man. Irish up early. I love me faithless Flora, the lily of the west. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right as rain. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between fair and meddling. Well, you're 
gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It's worse <laughs> like that at all, feller. Me intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus! You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some Jesus. miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might See, be better John's than quick. To help you. He's quick with it. Your life and his insults are better in this game. Nearly getting me killed. Not far now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight in doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. <laughs> Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? You two-faced little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> here we are. Let's Jesus. Here a moment to get a lie of the land. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with these sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. Your trespasses. State your business or move along. This is my business. Kablamo! Nobody heard that? Alright. What are these miners doing? I'll kill you! Not mining? Come on. Ah! Whoa, that's not where I wanted to go. So it marks it on its own. I kind of want to do the marking. That's how I like it. Oh, I'm not a dead eye, that's why. Hey, I don't need it. Yeah, my middle name is Widowmaker. Okay, I might need some dead eye here. Uh... Is he... Oh, here we go. Stop I'm a big body 
<laughs> Don't stand next to TNT, bitch. Son of a whore. Oh, hello. Whoops. Oh my god, that guy looks like a skeleton. That's scary. Lying. Why is there a machine gun in the bottom of a mind? Government issue. Okay. Um, I have to shoot my way out of here? Oh, cool. Let's see, he's dead eye. Let's fill up on dead eye, maybe. Oh, 
there she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that great? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down below. Meet me at the bottom of the hill! Go. Oh God. Yeah. Have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. Uh. Well, help. <laughs> no. Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. Strap that baby down. Jesus. He is zooming. Irish came through at a babe. Yeah. All right, what's next? Question mark? Funny man. Whoa. Is that the um the journalist or the writer or whatever he was? That's one. Desert State Sage. Let's go. No way he's in the mine. Yeah. How, did, how am I gonna get in there again? Oh god. Come on. What the hell? So he's gonna be in here right after we just had a shootout. Boy, am I glad to see you. What the hell? <laughs> this is a little <laughs> too visceral for me. Oh, that makes more sense. Jimmy he... <laughs> I didn't know you were a miner. I'm not sport. This is the first time that I've ever been underground. But I like getting a preview of being buried. It should be fun, but not funny, what? Your eastern wit is wasted on my dumb western brain, sport. Oh, don't worry, you're not missing much. I'm beginning to think that this article will be better written on a tropical island in the arms of a beautiful maiden. Interesting idea. Now, can we get out of here? Yes, please. Leave it to me now, sport. Jesus Christ. Go on. Don't worry about Was he in there when we were in there and I just missed it? That'd be funny. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Let's go! That was weird. He was tied up in there. Oh, water and honesty. Okay. Should we go to West Dickens? Might as well. Oh, 
here. West Dixon. Are we going to be racing again? What are we doing, old man? Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, <laughs> this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act. For you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Gentlemen, gather round, gather round. My friends, are you ready to change your lives forever? Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, Fraud. 12 weeks. This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right I now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. <laughs> Somebody get that thief back! Oh God! Saint Homobonus has not been looking down on me miserably. Who? Homobonus, patron saint of businessmen. I'd say he's doing you your just desserts. No, poppycock. Those inmates were clearly informed of my refund policy. You know, we shut off people for so long before they decided it's their turn to pull down the pants. See how far I can a get crude this thing. metaphor in every sense of the word, my dear boy. You need the business to me. Do I try to tell you how to rob banks? <laughs> Robin banks felt more honest than this. Here you go. There we go. Riding shotgun, if you know what I mean. Peter is too good. That's it. Sure is lucky you came along. You did. Lucky for who? You got one-handed. Global expansion of the West Dickens elixir <laughs> might have come a crop. Nonsense. Just another you saw many many other. science is not a I bet Louis Pasteur didn't have to deal with this shit. Ignorant. <laughs> I don't know. I'd say they're pretty astute. The delivery on that shit was pretty good. Look, they've got the road tracks up ahead. That'll show them. Respect science. 
we also brought TNT. Great idea, boys. The road looks clear. Let's push out to Kuivaseka. Really? For a man of the people, you sure ain't very popular. I am up against the weight of plebeian ignorance, my boy. Stay alert. I'm not sure we're out of the woods yet. Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will never give up on science, John. Science. How can these people harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. God damn, how many are there? Look out, child! I saw one! Keep that gun at the ready, my dear boy! John, there's Quavaseca up ahead. Quavaseca. Well, that day. was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Uh, yes, uh, perhaps we should shelve the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. <sighs> Twenty five bucks. Well, should we end there? Got some more racing, probably. The Marshal. We didn't get to Seth. Irish is way over here. Thieves Landing. Plus that question mark's over there too. Uh, yeah. We'll end there. Next video we'll get into those. Another really good, really cool reference from Red Dead Redemption 2. With uh, the girl that Dutch kills before we even start playing. That's why we are playing this game, for those moments. So, that is this episode. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Have a good one. Oh, Jesus. Ah! God damn. Oh, my God. Okay. John Marston out. John Marsden getting attacked by wolves again. Son of a bitch. Ah!
Ah!